Are you finding Scarborough, Lady Northmore? Lady Caroline Merriweather asked. It's almost too relaxing. Tommy Christie, Earl of Northmore, watched as his wife Evelyn put a hand over her mouth to hide a yawn. It certainly isn't a bit like our last holiday, is it, darling? Goodness me, no, he laughed, and turned back to Lady Caroline, who had arrived at the seaside resort a couple of days earlier, and almost immediately latched on to his great aunt. I'd had the brilliant idea of taking my aunt and my wife to India. That sounds a positively glorious experience, Lady Caroline frowned. I can't imagine what could have gone wrong. It all started when we set off, Evelyn said. Unbeknownst to Tommy, I was in a delicate condition. Tommy smiled adoringly at his wife. I was not aware of Evelyn's condition when I booked the trip. Poor Evelyn was horribly ill all the way to India. I struggled to leave our suite, she said, and Tommy grimaced as he recalled exactly how bilious the trip across the sea had made her. Were you still unwell when you reached firm ground? I'm afraid so, Evelyn sipped her tea. My husband and Aunt Em went off exploring by themselves on the first day, leaving me behind to recover my strength. And when we returned, Aunt Em continued the story, it was to find there had been a murder, and Lady Northmore herself was one of the suspects. Oh, good gracious! Lady Caroline's eyes widened. How perfectly dreadful! Do tell me what happened next. Ordinarily, in those sorts of circumstances, Tommy and I would do a little sleuthing, Evelyn said humbly. We have been fortunate in the past to solve a few cases. I had forgotten about that. Lady Caroline's mouth formed a perfect circle. The hand containing her teacup paused halfway from the saucer to her mouth. The famous Northmore investigators. They are exceedingly well known, Aunt M. Bratt. My great-nephew and his wife receive correspondence regularly, simply begging them to solve crimes. Tommy considered his aunt's words not entirely accurate. To date, they had received three letters asking for help. One was from a lady who appeared elderly and wanted to track her fiancé, whom she hadn't seen since before the Boer War. Another was from a gentleman in Brighton who believed the spirits of the Bronte siblings occupied his house. The last note was from Ireland and asked for their help in tracking down missing family jewellery. Were you thrown in jail, Lady Northmore? Fortunately not, Evelyn picked up a perfectly cut triangular-shaped sandwich. Lady Emily and my husband worked diligently to solve the crime before it came to that. Aunt Em reached out and patted Evelyn's hand. You did your share, dear. Tell us more about yourself, Lady Caroline, Tommy said. I understand you've known my great-aunt for some years. She waved a hand. More than we both care to remember, I am sure. I believe it was around the First Boer War. Aunt Em tapped a finger against her chin. Her mind was usually sharper than rapier, so it wouldn't be long before she recalled the precise occasion. You stopped receiving visitors. Lady Caroline stared morosely into her empty cup. That was when I lost Charles. You went into mourning, Aunt Em said with feeling. I did. Lady Caroline stared across the road towards the sea. For an exceedingly long time, life lost its fun for me. Fortunately, my children reminded me every day that I needed to go on. Your children were young when they lost their father, Aunt Em commented, with very pretty names, if I recall correctly. Lady Caroline smiled. That's very kind of you to say so. Aris and Violet are wonderful girls. I do hope you don't see it as crass to praise one's own children. Of course, they now have grown children of their own, 